Hey guys, uh, the workout for Saturday is going to be a partner workout. <laughs> you stay there. There's a naked toddler on the loose, everybody. So, well, I'm going to be very careful about where I point this camera. I probably won't be able to demonstrate anything. Um, so, in teams of two, uh, partner one is going to run while partner two is performing squat cleans and mountain climbers. Uh, you will switch. There's going to be three sets. We've done this format many, many times. So set one will be an 800 meter run. While partner one is running 800, partner two is doing eight squat cleans and 16 mountain climbers per leg. Uh, and you're going to do that as many times as possible until your partner gets back in from the run and then switch places. Set two is a 600 meter run with six squat cleans and 12 mountain climbers per leg. Set three is 400 meter run with four squat cleans and eight mountain climbers per leg. So each partner is doing each one of those. Uh, so it's three runs and three sets of squat cleans and mountain climbers. The goal is max reps or rounds uh, each set while your partner's running. Uh, those of you in in on Zoom with us, you'll uh, follow the standard format. Get in from your run, unmute yourself, say your team name. You guys will switch places. Uh, those of you that are going to be doing this workout on your own, uh, the way that I would do it is to run 800 and then time yourself and use that same amount of time to perform max rounds of eight squat cleans and 16 mountain climbers. Or if you want to just keep things... Pretty simple, instead of doing math, give yourself a four minute clock on the squat cleans and mountain climbers from whatever time you get in from the run. And then for the 600, use three minutes as a guideline and the 400, use two minutes as a guideline. Uh, and you would obviously just run through it one time, straight. Warm up each movement a little bit, 200 meter run a couple times, some squat cleans, some mountain climbers. Uh, if you guys have any questions about how to perform the squat clean with respect to what equipment you're using, I would say if you have a pair of dumbbells, that would be great. Uh, use that. If you, and that would be from the ground into a full squat, stand all the way up and then repeat. You can utilize a barbell. It probably would not want to be that heavy if you're going to be doing it with a barbell. Uh, something you could cycle through eight reps of without having to break it up at least for a few sets. So maybe guys like 95 pounds would be a prescribed weight, maybe 115 at the absolute most. Um, girls like 65, 75 pounds at most, something like that. If you only have one dumbbell, you could do it either alternating. So do it on one side and then switch to the other side for the next rep. You could do four on one side, four on the other. If it's heavy enough, you could just hold it with both hands and do it that way. Uh, mountain climbers, hold the top of the push-up. Try to get your knee to actually touch that same side arm, either the elbow or the tricep. So really try to in, uh, get that nice full range of motion every rep. And basically you're running in place with nice quick little steps. Um, I think that's it. Like I said, guys, reach out if you have questions. 9 o'clock Zoom tomorrow. Hopefully we'll see you guys there. And uh, good night, everybody. Thanks. Say good night, Hunter. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Look at the camera and say bye. Bye. Good.